everyone. So I just came back from the grocery and I'm gonna show you my little grocery haul. I only got a few things just because I did most of my grocery shopping last week. I got some eggs, some bread. I also got this unmeat tocino. Got some lemons. I think I might make some lemonade later. Calamansi. Romaine lettuce for my bibimbap. Two bags of cheesy, my favorite. And then I also got this new box of tea. I finished the clipper one. So yeah, I'm gonna try this out. Hopefully I will like this because this was pretty inexpensive. So anyway, that is my little haul for today. My shoppy parcel came today, so let's go ahead and open it. I bought this like electric lighter thing. I don't know how it works yet, but I bought one because I bought some candles. Yeah, I'll show you the candles. Actually, no, I'll show you one of the candles later because I did pack one of them already. So the only reason why I bought this was so that I wouldn't have to buy matches every single time. Oh, it's really long. I was expecting it to be smaller, but this is the lighter that I bought. So yeah, it's a rechargeable electric lighter. So yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to make this work so I can use it later. So yeah, I'm excited.
was Gondal and Westfall fell. Where was Gondal when our end is closed in around? Hi, so I just got done showering. I'm now gonna try to light up my candle. So I have the lighter here. And this is the candle that I bought. It's from Claus Beauty. I was so excited when I saw these because it's called the Manifested Manifestation Candles. Yeah, I was just so intrigued. So I thought to try one of the candles out because they just look so pretty. I've never tried any Manifestation Candles before. And what's interesting is that there's crystals in here. Okay, so this is what the candle looks like. Um, again, there's amethyst crystals in here, hence why it's purple, because amethyst is purple. So yeah, it's just called Dear Universe. So it's 100% soy wax and jelly candle. It looks like this. And when you open it up, it looks like this. And then there's just little tiny crystals inside. It smells so good. Okay, so let's try to light this. Oh no, wait, I should turn off the fan. Whoa, look at that! Yay! That's so cool, this is so cool. It's pretty late, I think I'm gonna stay up a little bit more and just keep watching something. I don't know, I might watch some more Ice Shield 21. I was watching One Piece earlier during dinner while I was eating. I'm so glad that Netflix added more episodes because I finished all of the <laughs> One Piece episodes when it came out. And yeah, there's like two new seasons now. It's so nice to watch One Piece again from the very beginning because it's been so long. I started watching One Piece, I'm not sure, either 2017 or 2018, around that time. Um, so yeah, it's been so long. So it's just so nice to get to rewatch the beginning because there's things that I, <laughs> I forgot happened and like other characters that I also forgot about. So yeah, I think that's all that I'm gonna do until I go to sleep, so. This smells so good. Let me see if I can get a close-up of this. really badly this past week. Um, I thought it was like maybe because I've been eating too many like sweets lately or maybe like not so healthy foods because I noticed that I did eat quite a bit of instant noodles uh, the past couple of weeks so I thought maybe oh um, maybe it's just my food because I don't think it's stress because I'm I've been feeling fine like mentally so yeah usually like stress is the one of the biggest factors as well as food for me so so those were the first two that I thought about when I was breaking out and then my younger sister pointed out that maybe it's my hormones I'm like oh right and yeah I think it is <laughs> my hormones I think it is because it's nearing that time of the month again I don't know if you can see I broke out so much on my cheeks oh I got this new toner so yeah it's pretty cool it's like this jelly like I don't know if you can be able to see it but it's like this jelly like it wiggles i don't know how else to describe it but yeah it's so cool and then it just like melts so i'm just gonna put on some sunscreen it is six something right now i slept at around 11 i think um but yeah i wanted to sleep earlier last night so that i could actually wake up early today hello we're back on my desk so yeah i like waking up in the morning i'm more of a morning owl just because i like the mornings um because not everyone's awake yet and it doesn't feel like busy like if you live in the city like everyone's just like busy and always like moving 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 and, it, and it's like just this non-stop energy and i just i find it a bit like suffocating at times i guess i don't really know what the right word is like if i feel like <laughs> my energy gets drained faster if that makes sense i don't know what i'm saying but yeah anyway <laughs> I, I just like waking up early i don't know if i'm gonna film much today i feel like today's gonna be a more busy day because i have 
some chores that I need to do. So yeah, I just basically have a lot of cleaning to do today. I have to do my laundry. And I also have to clean my sheets. I don't know if I'm gonna actually film most of today because again, it's just mostly chores that I'm doing. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but um, I don't do any work on weekends. That's like a boundary that I've set myself uh, this year. It's just something that I've recently done, like I started this year, is to really have like this separation between work and like play. Like now that there is more of this separation, like I really look forward to the weekend because that's just like me time, play time. So yeah, that's why I just spent the whole day watching things yesterday. Like So let's see if I like this one. I feel like I will, but let's see. It is not bad. I feel like I did put a little bit too much water though, so that's my fault. But yeah, it's not that bad. So I just finished doing the laundry, but look what came today. Ta-da! I bought a new tarot deck. This is the second tarot deck that I own now. And yeah, I got it from Fully Booked because Fully Booked does sell tarot decks. I don't think I've mentioned this in any of my like videos here but if you do follow me on instagram then you know that i am into like tarot astrology and all that stuff so this wouldn't really be a surprise to you because i do repost things about those stuff on there in my stories <gasps> -da! oh you can't see it I'm so happy! But this is the deck that I got. This is the Labyrinth uh, Tarot deck. Oh my god, I'm so happy! Look at it! Oh my goodness, it's so pretty! Oh my god! I'm so happy! When I saw this, I just I knew I had to get it because Labyrinth is one of my favorite movies of all time and yeah, Labyrinth just has a special place in my heart. Again, this is the second tarot deck that I own. Uh, this is the first one that I bought. It's just a standard, basic Rider Waite Smith deck. All right, let me show you if you're interested in getting this uh, tarot deck. So this is what it looks like inside. Here's the deck. Here's the little guidebook. This is what the like Rider Waite like deck looks like. So you probably have seen these. So yeah, this is what is inside this box. And there's also this card of Pamela Coleman Smith, who is the artist of the Rider Waite Smith decks. So yeah.
everyone. So I just showered. Now I'm gonna be opening the box. I just took off the plastic earlier. I didn't open the box yet. So you're gonna see my first reactions on this deck. We have a foreword by Brian Froud and we have words by Minerva Siegel. And then the art is by Thomas Eho. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but yeah, here we go. Okay. Oh, wow. The guidebook's actually pretty big. Ta-da. This is what this looks like. So, oh, these are the cards. What's this ribbon? Oh, wow. It's just to pull the cards up. That's so convenient. This is so pretty. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. Okay, let's flip this. Oh, wow. So we have Jennifer Connelly's character here. Oh, I guess this makes sense too for her to be this um, full card. I'm just gonna like, <gasps> oh my God. We have King Jareth, the Goblin King as the magician who is played by David Bowie. Oh my God, this looks so, oh, and you see all the goblins here too. I'm like <laughs> freaking out. Oh, that's so interesting. So we have the dancers from the ballroom scene. This is so cool. This is so different because usually the sixth card is the lover's card. So, but we have the dancers. So that's really cool. <gasps> oh my God. It's the hands as the justice card. That's so cool. I love the hands. And then we have the hanged man. We have Ludo, my favorite character because he's just such a sweetheart. Then we have fate as oh so here's the fate card oh wait oh this is so interesting okay so this is the 13th card and it says fate and the 13th card in the original like tarot decks usually the 13th card is the death card so this is so cool i love how the different interpretations of this we have the moon oh this is interesting the moon card is the apricot the peach that she ate but yeah, that's so interesting that that is the image that they decided to choose for this. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh my god, I love this so much! We have the King of Feathers, which I'm assuming is swords, because swords are air. Yeah, this is so pretty! Look at this! I love owls so much. Owls are my favorite animal. I'm so happy that I bought this. I'm so excited to use this deck in a bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and read what's in this um, guidebook. 